What's going on everybody? Welcome to this uh, Hunter's Arena Legends 2021 Tips and Tricks video. I've noticed that uh, a lot of videos on this game are a year old and the game's changed since then. So I'm going to give you uh, some general tips that'll work for everybody. Just some core tips uh, about combat how to stay effective at the game to make sure you're doing uh, proper damage now this person I'm fighting right here the second enemy I kill uh, they're making the mistake of not locking on as you can see you might be thinking well uh, they're not locking on because they're running away but if you just watch them for a little bit see that He's not locked on. You want to be locked on if you're using a, a ranged character or a ranged ability. I mean, it's kind of what well, you would think would be common sense, but it's not. So he dies because, well, he wasn't locking on. Now, the main thing. You want to find blacksmiths and upgrade your equipment. This is the, your main source of damage, ability damage, maximum health, and defense. So if you want to stay on par with everyone or stay above everyone, upgrade your equipment. That is the most important takeaway that you need to have from this video. Upgrade your equipment. Now, don't be afraid to run. Because I can guarantee you, your enemies have no problem turn telling and running. I'm pretty sure you experience you beating on somebody and then they just take off running. Now each character will have either an airborne which will knock them in the air so you can juggle them or a knockdown. Airborns are the main source of damage and combos. You want to mix in your airborne ability with a couple of basics. So maybe one or two basics followed by the, the airborne ability and then you juggle them in the air. They have two choices. Take all the damage or use a combo breaker. And if they use the combo breaker they can't use it for the rest of the your PvP. Next, the rest of your duel. Your abilities will refresh like two or three times over before they have the chance to use another combo breaker. Don't forget to scrap everything in your inventory. So you have enough materials to either trade with the merchant and for the blacksmith. Now of course this goes without saying, keep your eyes open for enemy players. But I mean, for enemies hiding in bushes like that, or stealth mode. Now if you want to catch up to enemy players, it's kind of like a racing game. You want to follow that, that wind trail, their, uh, their draft, and you'll pick up speed to overtake them. Now, I didn't forget about this guy that I saw while I was chasing the other guy. Also, block. You'd be surprised. Just people don't block. And I just killed them off of my first ability. Once again, scrap everything. And now I'm going to go visit the blacksmith since he's right here. And now usually what I like to do is I like to get everything legendary and then I max out my weapon. Max you can get it is plus five and if you take a look nine minutes into the round I have twice as much combat power as the guy in second place. Almost seven thousand combat power. And now this is what you can do with seven thousand combat power. Or I'll just say with the max legendary plus five weapon. World bosses are easy. They're nothing. Within a minute, you can take them out. Also, with the maxed out legendary equipment, you can do this type of damage. You see that? That was my second ability of over a thousand damage. That kind of damage, no one wants to fight. They're just going to take off running. Now, he might have stood a chance if he would have upgraded his equipment, maybe his defense, his chest piece. And like I was saying, like a racing game, follow their draft and you'll get a speed boost to overtake them. And this guy gets to jump on me, but because of my defense, eh, it's not really all that much damage. My first ability, 
600 and then 500. Over a thousand damage for my first ability too. Upgrade your equipment, people. That's the one takeaway I should I can give you. See that? That was a seven kill game right there. Now I've gotten more kills than that. And I've gotten what eight, nine, ten, eleven kill games. But I'll probably show those in my doggy guide video. Because I really like this character. Now at the begin beginning of the match, depending on your skill level or how confident you are in a ma matchup against your your opponent, you can either go for NPCs, the computer, because they're all pretty dumb for experience and levels, or what I like to do, I, I like to go after other players because well, I believe I'm good enough for it. Now, don't forget to use your guard breaks. And a perfect thing to do is to guard break them and then hit them with your airborne ability. If you get the jump on someone, they will tend to panic and use a combo breaker. Which lets you know, hey, if I get them in the air, they will have no defense. This guy comes in. Uh, steel kills, but I get him in the air, and he uses his combo breaker. So now I know, if I ever get him in the air again, start juggling, he has no defense. He has to take all the damage. But, because, once again, someone who doesn't block, I get, uh, don't even have to do anything. Now this coming up is another perfect example of getting two or three bases in, followed by the airborne ability, and start juggling. All types of damage. Now, either they forgot they had a combo breaker, or maybe they already used it on the previous fight and it was still on cooldown. Who knows? But I'll take all that damage. And, look at that, not locking on. If you're a ranged character, lock on. Now coming up is if you're like in a corner and you have the stamina, block. Counter when you know they're they're gonna do something. It breaks his guard, then he uses an ability, pushes me back. Finish out your basic combos. There's not really any drawback to not finishing out your basics. Hit him with the, the two... He uses the combo breaker to get out the, the two guard breaks. I had him dizzy. And there we go. Once again, don't forget to scrap all your equipment. And keep it pushing. We got this one. What did I do? Nope, just basic up. Didn't even uh, need to use an ability. I get the jump on this guy. He's trapped in the corner. And I believe I just continually basic attack him. Yeah. Block, man. Just one button. You just gotta hold it. Block. Once again, scrap. I'm, I think y'all get the point. Scrap everything. And look for a blacksmith. I try to sneak up on these guys over here. I seen that he was getting the boss down pretty low. The boss's health. Boss is also busy looking at the boss, but he ain't gonna juggle me. The boss's time limit had went up. And I proceed to beat on him. You just gotta know when to use your abilities and when which abilities to use. Don't be afraid to heal up. I always stay on top. Now this coming up is a reason why I really like Dalgi. Cause it's down to just me 
and her. And she gets me. Right. It's coming. Yeah, thank you. Hits me with the ultimate. Fall down. And I was dead. But, Doggy has one once a match revive. Then I come back in when you thought it was over with. Use my ability, second ability, close the gap, stun, ultimate. Hit you with the same thing you hit me with. And that match is over with. You got another win. A kill game right there. Now this would be probably the last match I'll put in this video. I don't want a super long video. And I guess the main tip you can learn from this match would be to use your guard breaks. Use your guard break attacks. Especially if they're blocking at low health. Use your guard break attack to go straight through their block and kill them. Finish them off. I've gotten... Uh, I forget. I want to say three, three kills, maybe four. With that, is doing that method. They're low health, and I just guard break them. Not that one though, of course. I just killed that with my first ability. But uh, they was just kept running up in this uh, desert area. They just kept running up. Level ten, and it's only been two minutes. always block for some reason he gave up the charge but I'll take it guard block guard break and I think he's gonna start blocking again he's blocking guard break straight through Get to heal up. I always try to stay topped up. You never know when you're going to get uh, jumped. Someone's going to come out the bushes for you. Sadly, I dropped my airborne combo that round. But I have a homing second ability. Oh. Which is why I like me some doggy. I tell you, that, re that second life and the homing ability is great for closing the distance against uh, annoying players. Third ability for the stun. Of course, as I just mentioned, Doggy has the second life. Blocking. Oh, she countered. I used my combo breaker on her because I'm low, low on life too. And I don't want to use my second life. Well, I don't think I had a second life at that clip. Yeah, I've seen the guy hiding in the bushes. He was, I guess, trying to trap me while I was, uh, get the jump on me while I was upgrading at the blacksmith. But he has nowhere to run to. And guard break. Now we're gonna run back up to the blacksmith. Like I said, I like to try to get everything legendary. I'll spend most of my points on the sword for the extra damage. But, um, I hope you learned something today. If not, uh, talk junk in the comments, dislike, do what you gotta do. Uh, my next video will be on Dalgy. Like I said, I've got some 9, 10, 11 kill games with Dalgy. And it'll be a pretty much a character guide on on situations when to use which ability and uh, and whatnot. Got double kills with her and everything. So see you next video, or if there's a character you would like me to play with and make a guide on, comment below and let me know. See you next one, people.